And we have some breaking news. Ghislaine Maxwell has been sentenced to 20 years in prison for helping Jeffrey Epstein sexually abuse underage girls. Her lawyers have just reacted to that sentence. Here's what they had to say. Client Ghislaine Maxwell has been vilified, pilloried, and it left little room for her to be treated fairly because even before she stepped forward into this courthouse, she was being tried and convicted in the court of public opinion. Glenn will appeal this case, and we are confident that she will prevail on appeal. We all know that the person who should have been sentenced today escaped accountability, avoided his victims, avoided absorbing their pain and receiving the punishment he truly deserved. Clever and cunning to the end, Jeffrey Epstein left Glenn Maxwell holding the whole bag. Glenn Maxwell should never have been denied bail. She has endured the most unusual and severe conditions of pretrial detention in solitary confinement. We recognize that the public at large has little sympathy or compassion for inmates. That, of course, is until they themselves or members of their families have brushes with the law and find themselves in the midst and thrust into the criminal justice system. Ghislaine's treatment for 22 months in solitary confinement and recently again. That was reaction from the lawyers for Ghislaine Maxwell, who we know was sentenced to 20 years. We also heard reaction from survivors outside the courtroom today. Sarah Galashin joins me now with more on that. Sarah. Well, Arthur, as you've been saying, 20 years for Ghislaine Maxwell, uh, who ha was found guilty uh, previously of procuring teenage girls for Jeffrey Epstein. And Maxwell's attorneys, who we just heard from there, they had pushed for a sentence uh, well below the 20 years that uh, federal probation officials had been calling for. Uh, but, of course, the prosecutors have been pushing for something much higher, uh, between 30 to 55 years in prison for Ghislaine Maxwell. Uh, so she is, she does, has been given a now... Uh, uh, just the 20 years in prison. And among those who were there for that uh, sentencing today, as you say, there were uh, victims uh, who had, were in the court. And one, among them, uh, a, a woman by the name of Annie Farmer. Uh, she also testified at the trial of Ghislaine Gil Maxwell, uh, testifying that Maxwell had groped her uh, and had pressured her. And of course, as I say, Maxwell uh, had, was found guilty at that trial. Today, outside that courthouse, Annie Farmer called this a good day, and I want to play you a little more of what she said. Maxwell and Epstein were predators who were able to use that power and privilege to harm countless individuals, and for far too long, the institutions that should be protecting the public were instead protecting them. And I still hope that we find out more about how that was allowed to occur. Her statement felt like a very hollow apology to me. It, she did not take responsibility for the crimes that she committed. And it felt like once more her trying to do something to benefit her uh, and not at all about the harm that she had caused. Is 20 years long enough, Annie? Is 20 years long enough? very happy with Thank you. And to that point about uh, Maxwell's statement delivered in court, uh, it was one that it acknowledged the pain that uh, victims had suffered in this, but not one that accepted blame for that pain. In other words, uh, Maxwell not uh, admitting in any way that she was uh, the cause of that pain, but acknowledging that victims uh, of Jeffrey, Jeffrey Epstein had uh, suffered. Uh, at that podium also, we have heard from other lawyers representing victims, and there have been questions about other uh, very powerful people uh, 
Rogov, who were associates of Jeffrey Epstein and Ghislaine yeah. Maxwell. And uh, those names being thrown out there, why aren't they speaking? Will there be more to come? Uh, and from one of the lawyers, we heard that uh, at this point in time, um, there are people out there uh, who should be speaking up, we heard uh, from one of the lawyers. Uh, but they are not at this point. And we have also heard, of course, Arthi, that from uh, Ghislaine Maxwell's lawyer, that uh, she is intending to appeal the 20 years that she's been sentenced to today. Thank you for this, Sarah. That is the CBC's Sarah Galashin reporting.